Welcome to Come On You Sports TV. Today we are looking at the team of the tournament for the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Uh, with me today, I've got Chuma, I've also got Yinka, and we're going to put together a team. Um, we'd love to see your comments as well, but join us on the other side uh, when they join us. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Welcome back. Um, good day. Uh, Soji here, and I've got, got me, Yinka, and Chuma. Welcome back to the program, guys. How are you? Good, thank you very much. Well, well. Beautiful. It's good to have you back. Uh, Chuma, are you okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I can barely hear you. Sorry, I can barely... Sorry, what did you say? Can you hear me? Can you yeah. hear me now? You know, yes. Mm -hmm. I said I'm 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 quite hungry. You, to give you the German answer, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I'm <laughs> famished. But then, there's <laughs> a job to be done. So <laughs> yes. you have to pick the World Cup uh, team. So there we go. Good, 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 good. Let's do a bit of housekeeping. It's Sajid Fagade here from Come On Spurs TV, and we do with everything Spurs. But we've got a bit of Nigerian bent to it. But hey, that that stems from the fact that most of the people who are here on here. Uh, come from a Nigerian um, uh, what's the word? background, but here you go. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, subscribe to our channel, like, and obviously you need to get no to get to find out about um, uh, upcoming videos or when, whenever we, we put out videos. Please click on the notification bell button and share this with your friends and and and, and family. You know, we want, as many people as possible want to benefit from this. So yeah, welcome again, uh, Yinka. Good to be back. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I've got not much to say because I said it all in the sound check, so I'm just going to just keep my <laughs> to it. <laughs> For those people who don't, who don't know how this whole thing works, I'll give you a bit of an insight into the background. So before we come on live, we do a sound check, we do a lighting check, we do everything, right? So as far as Yinka was concerned, before we started, he, uh, he just rattled on about, you know, the intro that he was going to come up with, and he said, oh my goodness, I think he was got about a minute into the uh, into his spiel. I didn't stop him, you know, and, and then I said to him, Iga, it's only a sound check. And he goes, <laughs> 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 so that, 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 that was funny. That was really funny for him. <laughs> we, we, all, we all have fun here. Yeah, so... You can go back now and repeat what you said earlier on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, going back to what I can remember. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing World Cup for for teams that maybe you know it's been the World Cup of shocks, hasn't it? And so we've had players that maybe we've not been familiar with before the World Cup that have come up to the fore. We've had players that we expect to deliver. The Belgians, for instance, Lukaku, and you know. Um, the, the whole Belgian golden generation, or should I say the golden plated generation, that didn't deliver. And so we've just had this beautiful mix of <laughs> the old, the new, the, the last dance, the new dances. Um, and yeah, it's going to be quite a fun little episode where we just delve into some of these players and give some special mentions to um, uh, these players that have made this World Cup a quite a memorable tournament. Yeah, I mean, Chuma, it's, you know, it, we have... We had, and we started with a lot of shocks. I mean, okay, the first match didn't really, um, uh, well, didn't ex exactly go to plan in the sense that we, okay, we had Ecuador against um, the host, um, Qatar. And uh, uh, Qatar kind of set the record for being the only team so far, uh, sorry, being the only country, host country so far, not to have uh, to have lost the, the opening match on um on, in the World Cup, so yeah, not not a good record, but yeah, but so far we had what amazing football. So I mean, all, all through the World Cup, I mean, what what did you make of it? Teams, players, I mean, well, the Qatar, the, the, the Qatar is lost because you know the money didn't hit the accounts at the right time. <laughs> if they had, if they had, if the account, if the account, if the account, if the money had hit the account at the right time, 
the 18 million they should have shot out to the Ecuadorian players. They would have, <laughs> they would have laid down and, and allowed them win. But unfortunately, the Qataris have to check their accountants. You know, the guy, the guy, the guy made late payments. Late payments don't win you matches. You have to bribe early. Mm. But no, no, it's been it's been a fantastic World Cup. I put down Belgium, Germany. These were like my guys. These are the teams that I felt they had that thing. Italy, if they have qualified, would have still been on my list. I had this list of like teams that you know that they're just these guys that they know how to win things. They just know how to. The pedigree, win. yeah. And this year has been, yeah. We we talked about it. It's, it's kind of like world football is evening out in the sense that there's no respect anymore. Before you'd expect to see like you know Morocco playing a Spain. Spain should win that four five nil something like that. It's like the players now have played at such a high level. You know, the game has become so global that you, you're walking up to someone, I played against you in the Champions League, or you're my teammate, and I tackle you regularly in training, and I take the ball off you. What's the difference playing for your country now? And the game has evened out. Like, we, we went into the, this the first, I think we probably say this about every World Cup, I think this World Cup in particular is the first one where I've been very, very reluctant to, like, pick a side to win. Because you could have a wonderful first half, the second half, the other team just goes, you know what? We have nothing to lose. And they come for you and they win. You know, they, I put I put the Japanese down as the Japanese did some stuff in this World Cup that they should really take heart and go back and look at their game and think, we, we stood up to some big boys. We took scalps here. And if we work harder, we can come back in four years' time and do better. You know, and I think a lot of nations are walking away from this World Cup the same way. So, yeah, it's been great. If you had... To put money on on uh, specific teams uh, doing well in the World World Cup. I mean, I know a lot of people will have will have come up with with, with different with different uh, teams or different um, uh, configuration in, in, in the World Cup because I mean a lot of, like like, like uh, what's the word like um, Yinka said earlier on at, at the beginning that look there are a lot of people who have come up in this World Cup that you would not have um, imagined would have been star names or will have been, you know, and for me, I think one of the people that stands out, and I know we're going to come, come and look at the teams in a minute, um, is, is simply for me, is Amrabat. Amrabat for me is that player who no one will have known of him before this World Cup. I know you know him. I mean, um, Chuma, so we won't, you, you, you don't count. <laughs> but... The rest, the rest of us, us mere, mere mortals, as we like to call ourselves. The rest of the world, yeah, no. Yeah, the rest of the world had no idea yeah, who Amrabat was before, watching, before watching this World, World, World Cup. And he's come up yeah. tops. I mean, he's come up, I think, for me, that's for me, it's probably the, the key revelation in this World Cup. We'll, we'll look at all, yeah. all you know, we'll look at yeah, look at um, he's my TCM. He's my TCM of this tournament, the defensive midfielder of the tournament. Um, yeah. I agree. I, agree. I, think, I think we're all he's, going, he's not I think done. all of us yeah. agreed on that one already. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, I mean, yeah, yeah. Um, that's probably one one player that I wouldn't even have any doubt whatsoever to, to nominate for me as one of the players of the tournament, you know. Um uh, as as key 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 uh key uh key folks in, in this t- tournament. But let's 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 even let's be, let's begin on let's let's have let's have a blank sheet for instance, I say to ourselves here. Yeah. Okay, so We've got a blank sheet here in front of us, right? And um, mm-hmm. do we yes. list out names of, of, of people first? And then, okay, maybe we'll list out three names, right? For each position, right? Or two, names, is, yeah. Two, yeah. two names per position, and then we'll select from, 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 from the two, shouldn't we? That, I think that, that might be the best way. What do you reckon? Yeah, I say that we just give one name each that we want for that position, and then we decide who makes it. Absolutely. Yeah? So... Um, this is going to go back to live mode, so that means we're going to be typing... Oh, so formation? Okay. Sorry? So, so, yeah. Oh, so, formation. So um, formation four, I three, think three, most three, teams have played a 4-3-3. Three, three. We agree. Yeah. Yeah, 4-3-3. Three, yeah. three, three. Okay, so 4-3-3 three, three is the formation. So uh, let's start with, with, with goalkeepers, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah. Who, do we have, who are the goalkeepers that you think have stood out in this tournament? My, I'm going to throw the, my hat in the ring first. Three goalkeepers. And I'm going to go with... Yeah, go um, is The Moroccan goalkeeper, Bono. Hugo Lloris has, has got to the final, but I think Bono, was for a goalkeeper, 
that played, I think, in Sevilla. I think he got um, in the team of the year in Spain, or he's done really well in Spain. Yeah, um, he's you know, yeah. he's been successful in the penalty shootout. He's kept the most clean sheets in the tournament. Um, I think he might be in the running for Golden Gloves. So, um, Bono, this thing cannot be with or without you, as you two would go. Yeah, so, Bono for me. Right, so, Bono Morocco. for you for Morocco, okay. Um, Chuma. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. I think it came down to me. It came down to uh, the Croatian keeper, Levakovic, and Bono. But in terms of how crucial he's been to his side, I think Bono is just slightly more crucial than Levakovic. Le Levakovic was very, very good as well. But Bono just shades it from me. So he was my choice as well. Yeah. So Bono as my goalkeeper. So Bono is your goalkeeper as well. Okay. Um, got Bono, Bono. All right. Bono, 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 Bono. So I think, I think we're probably all gonna agree it's it's gonna be Bono all the way for me because I I probably will have got Bono as well. So yeah. <laughs> um, but let's for variety's sake. I mean, I guess for yeah, for Bono. I mean, without without, without, without we'll, we'll leave you at Bono, right? Um, so no argument there on Bono. Right. The right. So we're playing four three three, aren't we? Right. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. defenders. Right back. Right back. For me, standout right back, I think he's been solid. I think he's been... Um, not much has got put down his side. He's contributed to a goal, I think, um, is Hakimi. Ashraf Hakimi for Morocco again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um... I could put this whole defence as Morocco, you know. They've been brilliant. The defense has been no, absolutely outstanding. Yeah. You, you, you know, I think um, in terms of right backs, uh, a lot played well. I thought like Kieran Trippier was good for England in the first couple of games. I thought he was really good for them. I thought Hakimi is standout. Then I'll give an honorable mention to um, Croatia have this right back, and it was against. It was in the quarterfinals, I think, against Brazil. His name is Jovanovic. He yes. was really like he had the most outstanding right back game I've seen in a very long time. But in terms of consistency, Hakimi has been Hakimi has been a man. Hakimi has been, yeah. and he's not known for his defensive prowess. But in this particular Moroccan team, he was locked down. Asha yeah. Hakimi has has yeah he's yeah he's he's he's, he's, he's stood up to the plate and he's, he's he's answered and he's played very very well. They were not as attacking. If they were as attacking as they should have been. He would have even shown us more, but he played a very disciplined game, and he's lived up to his his ranking. So I think Hasha Fakimi for me as well. I I, I join Yinkan saying he's my right back as well. Quick honourable mention. I think Spurs have been linked with him a little bit. He might be out of our price tag, and he had two a couple of good games, <laughs> but but unfortunately, he's playing right wing back, and I don't think he, you know um, as a solid right back. But Dumfries. Has had a, gr a couple of great games in this tournament as well. So shout out to Dumfries. Okay, so Dumfries, Hakimi, yeah. yeah. Uh, even though some people play him as a wing back rather than a right back, so that's fine. Right, um, that's a good one. Um, hmm, Hakimi, Dumfries, um, and Ivanovic. Um, is it Ivanovic, right? Yeah, yeah, Ivanovic. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Ivanovic, um, yeah, I think, yeah, I, I, I remember Ivanovic as well in, in that particular match. I thought it was outstanding in that particular match, you know. Um, he didn't have a chance to, to do that a lot against um, Argentina, you know. Um, but, yeah, in the quarterfinal, he played, uh, sorry, in the, was it in the, in the last 16, I think? Yeah, it was in the last 16 that he played yeah. really, really well. And, um, yeah, I mean, he didn't get a chance, like I said, too much against Argentina. But, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll come back to those in a minute, but yeah, um, uh, center right side of central defense. Oh, um, myself, I, I, I just think this man has had, he's been the surprise of the tournament for me. I think he plays as captain. He's once again led a team of clean sheets. He has been a rock. And unfortunately, when it comes to the end, injuries told itself. But Saiz 
playing right-sided defence for Morocco has been immense. My choice for um, right-sided defence. Size, right? Right, okay, size one, that's for you. Now, um, well, who have you got, Chuma? For me, I, I, I enjoyed watching him play. Um, defensively, I don't think they were the greatest, maybe at certain points, but Thiago Silva for me from Brazil. I've always loved Thiago Silva. And of all the old stages that came to this World Cup, he's, to me, he, he's, he's, he's acquitted himself very well. And he, he, he had a part in uh, Richarlison's goal, one of the goals of the World Cup, if you think about it, it was his pass. But defensively, at his age and the things he was having to cope with, and he was really, 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 really good. I thought Thiago Silva for me. I like, I like Saïs as well, but Thiago Silva was, for me, Thiago Silva was really good. I'm, I think I struggle with the right centre-back more because I noticed a lot more left centre-backs than the right ones. Mm. Because maybe because Tottenham need them so yeah, bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, 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 and I could put Christian, I could put Christian Romero there, but Romero has just done what he's done. He's just been regular. He's not done anything, no bone crunching tackles, no everything else. But Thiago Silva is my my one. But I would put Saiz at second because I, I, I saw the work Saiz did. That defense of Morocco, like Yinka said, it could literally be the entire back four, almost. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll go for well, Christian Romero. Sure. I mean, Romero for me is for me is a standing um, centre right back um, so far in, in this World Cup. Um, so let's see what we've got so far. I've got defenders right right back: um, Hakimi, Dumfries, and Jovanovic. Um, right centre back: Saiz, Thiago Silva, and Romero. Right. Um, left centre back. Um. I, I, I just think that that kid for um, Croatia, the the left-sided centre-back, even though he got yeah. cooked by, <laughs> by Messi in the semi-final and his value most probably was um, divided by two. Um, but up until that point, um, he had been... He, I've, never heard, I've never really known much about him, but if that was a shot window for what is possible as a 20-year-old, as a footballer, He's just put himself in the shop window. And so Gravio, um, forgive me if I pronounce his name wrong, but I think he has been absolutely immense. And just a fine, one of the fines of the tournament. I think he's down for young player of the tournament as well for me, in my eyes, yeah. Uh, Gravio, okay. Um, uh, right, who else? Um, well... Sure. You already know I'm already I'm already voting I'm already voting for Valio. But if I wanted to add anything extra to that, I'll throw in um the little the little Mancunian Argentinian, um, Lissandro Martinez. A few times he's come on for the team, playing alongside Romero, and they took off uh, Otamendi for him, and he's been that guy is a little pocket. <laughs> machine he's been to me yeah. I think he's been really really good I think you know one of the I... biggest things yeah the Argentinian coach has had a problem with that is he can't fit in all he wants he's playing Otamendi because of the experience but if you really came down to it and I heard that Romero and him are best friends actually Romero and uh, Martinez are best friends they play well together and I think the last match he came on and you could see the difference when he came on as well so I'll put him as a side but for me it's, it's Gvadiol all the way. It's like Bono as well. Like It's just unanimous. That boy, is, he's everything. I've been screaming about him for over a year. I'm happy the world is seeing what I've, I've seen all the way from when he was in, in Croatia and then playing the under-21s, under-17s. He's been a brilliant kid. And he's only going to... I think he's just... He's going to be world-class wherever he goes. So it's Gvadiol for me. Honourable mention for Lissandro Martinez. Yeah, Martinez... Martinez is funny. It's like um, who's our Italian World Cup winning defender? The the Cannavaro. No, Cannavaro, Cannavaro. That yeah, one. Um, yeah. yeah, where the, yeah. his stature, his, life, his strength, and his positioning. The stature. Yeah. Is, I mean, yeah. 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 Martinez is only like maybe five seven, five eight for a centre half. That's tiny. Yeah. But for some reason, his stature never kind of like translates to his play. He is immense yeah. Yeah. and such a rock. And I, 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 for someone that didn't really much know about Martinez, he just shined again in this tournament for me. 
This, this is Lisandro <laughs> Martinez, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you, you have two Martinez's in there. One, one is the forward and one is, one is the defender, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. yes <laughs> All right, quite a few Martinez, like uh, the Martinez brothers from France, uh, and they, right? Yes, Hernandez. Sorry, Hernandez. Sorry, Hernandez sorry, sorry, sorry. That's true. That's, 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 that's Hernandez. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Right, so it looks like it's between Guardiola and and Martinez because I mean I don't have any any, any kind of on, on that left wing other than Guardiola myself. For me, he's just immense. So yes, even though he got done by Maradona, but hey, who doesn't get done by Maradona? That's a long list of uh, world class defenders <laughs> who've been. Who been done that to Ali? He, so, he, hey. he just said Maradona. He just called Messi. Oh, sorry, Messi. Messi. Oh, sorry. I don't play me, Soji. I don't play me, man. I don't play me, bro. He's he seeing flashbacks. I know, right? Yeah, so it's uh, Messi. Messi, I'm sorry. Yeah, so, um, right. So, <laughs> left back. Hmm. I'm going to say because of his influence in the semi final, being pretty so Hernandez. From just popping up with that moment of brilliance and you know just and taking that chance i think he's been one of um yeah one of the better left backs in there i don't think there's been many super outstanding standout left backs forgive me if i'm wrong if anyone out there wants to put in the comments if there has been one but i don't think this has been a world cup for outstanding left backs where we've had in the past branco we've had um roberto carlos we've had um you know, uh, Lizarazu and, and other great World Cup left backs. Oh, Lizarazu, got... wow. You have a good memory. Ooh. Hey, Lizarazu's a baller. Wow. Lizarazu's a baller. <laughs> the guy was about four foot 11. Four foot 11, <laughs> but he could ball. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I think um, going with the French left back as well, they've had a great tradition of great French left backs. And I think Hernandez has, it's so funny I mean, to think about. The French have qualified for finals from um, uh, Turam and Hernandez, like the unknown kind of players that come up with big goals for them to get into World Cup finals. I think uh, Hernandez has just joined his name into folklore and French folklore. So for me, Hernandez. All right, so Hernandez on that one uh, for you. Uh, um, Chuma. Uh, Yinka is just, Yinka is just reading out of my playbook. We're doing a screen share from laptop to laptop. <laughs> he's, 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 yeah, he's, he's copying my work. But to think that he replaced his brother, who himself is a world class left back, Lucas Hernandez. And I've always said this that I thought Teo Hernandez was the more gifted of the two brothers. But because Lucas has achieved more, everyone slept on Teo. And Teo flopped at Real Madrid, not because he flopped, but because he wasn't given enough chances. But AC Milan, if you speak mm. to any Milan fan, they'll tell you Teo Hernandez is the truth. He bombs forward so much. He's physical. He's strong. So Teo Hernandez, for me, um, Luke Shaw and all the other left backs. I look at. I'm thinking of left back Luke Shaw. I'm looking at Rafael Guerrero of Portugal. Scored a goal. Um, the real problem has been, I think that. Even with Brazil, Brazil did it for the first time. Yeah, Brazil didn't have a left back. Brazil brought left backs, but they ended up playing Danilo as a left back, sort of mimicking what Pep Guardiola does with um, what's his face um, for Portugal. Yeah, inverted inverted fullbacks. Yeah, the right back. Yeah, the inverted fullback, and Portugal did the same thing as well. So that's why we didn't really see any standout like Latin flair left backs. So, but Teo Hernandez is the one following him. I probably put. What's his name scored for Holland? And he was quite, he was okay, Daily Blind. But just for the sake of having someone else on, on that list, I'll put Teo Hernandez and probably Daily Blind of, of, of Ajax. Mm. So, he was good. He scored a goal. He had an assist as well. So Blind is the other player, right? So it looks like it's Blind and Hernandez yes, because Blind. for me, it's got to be Hernandez. I mean, without a doubt, I don't even have any. No, no one else. Um, I mean, come up with my my marriage at all, you know. So yes, um, it's it's Hernandez, right? So that midfield is where all of the um, CDM is, isn't defensive it, right? midfield. Oh, let's just get this over and done with it. Amrabat next. It's, 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 it's unanimous <laughs> already. The defensive midfield. Yeah. Right. So let's be. Uh, so it's four three three, right? So who would you play? So left side of that yeah. midfield. Uh, oh, left. Sorry, excuse me. 
for me, for me, if I, if I go back to my midfielders of this, well, and I'm not going to say whether left side or right side, I'm just going for my three top midfielders. And in one of those positions, Jude Bellingham must come in this squad. Jude Bellingham has had the tournament of the ages. He has been England's best player. He has been the one that's wanted to win games. You can see his force. You can see the way he's, his personality on the pitch. This World Cup 11 for me cannot have not have Jude Bellingham, Jude Starboy Bellingham in this 11. So you have three, you have three people to choose. So, so let's have three, three people. So, so tell me who are, who are your three? So you got Be Bellingham and who else? Oh, Bellingham, Amrabat, and um, blah, 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 the maestro himself, Gieserman. What is? Antoine Gieser, men. So Bellingham, Griezmann, and Amrabat, right? Yes. Right. In actual fact, you know what? Anyway, um, anyway, yeah, we, you, let's let's um, let's um, Chuma go, Chuma. So I I would I would go um, defensive midfield. I'd go Amrabat. Um, Amrabat. I would love to go Bellingham. I really would, but I would go Griezmann and Modric. Oh, hey, I forgot Modric. Hey, Kai. I'm about Griezmann and Modric for me. I forgot Modric. I got. Oh about, my I god. Bellingham, Bellingham is a sub. Bellingham would be a sub for me. Sub for oh, Modric. Oh, Bellingham, Modric. Uh, I'm about Modric and Modric and Griezmann. And Juma, Griezmann I might have to take your guy. Sorry, forward, I might have to take your guy on this, you know. Right. So <laughs> for me. I'll I, I sort of digress a little bit from what, what you guys have gone with, right? I mean, who do, I mean, who do I leave out? You know, I mean, I'm just this is this is my this is my big problem. So you have Modric there, right? But mm -hmm. I know I know this is a bit. It might be a little bit uh, controversial because he didn't really go too far in the in the in in the, in the World Cup. But that young man that plays for Germany, you know, um, uh, the Nigerian born. Oh, Musiala. Musiala. Jamal. Yeah, Jamal. I think I'll put Jamal there somewhere. Is he yeah. not play, is, is he no, not a front no, no, three problem, position? Is where would you position him? Where would you position him? He's front three. He's a forward. Well, is he a for, is he a forward or a, a, a forward or a midfielder? Yeah, he's, he's in a front three for me. I don't think he's in a back three. I think he's in a front three. I asked my thing, but he can play anywhere. To be honest with you, though, this is it. Yeah, that he was like he was like the Bellingham of the Germans, you know. Yes, like the star boy. Exactly. So it's 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 a bit it's a bit of a difficult one for me. I I'll, I'll live in midfield because that for, the front line is so it, it's, there's so many names in that front line that we, we you know uh, we'll see anyway. Um, but I'll have I'll have him in 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 that midfield. So let me just um have his name the name there for now, and then we can always uh, decide uh what the what the, what the three uh, will come down to in the end, right? Musiala, right? Um, yeah. Right, the forwards. Right, the forwards. forwards. All right, let's just get this. I, I don't know whether we can save Juru on this channel, to be honest. But, um... <laughs> yeah, we have oh, no we have I I, I'm, I'm not going to put him in there. I'm not going to put him. But he has a great... <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for putting him on there. But, um, yeah, he has had a great time. So shout out for, for Juru. I'll give him as good as a shout out. Um... Obviously, star boy, star boy himself, Mbappe, Messi. Oh, mate. I'm going to leave. The... Hey, Sorry. Well, tell me, guys. I mean, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What, what, what have you got? I'm saying Messi, Messi, Mbappe, and I can't. Oh, man. I don't want to put Giroud there. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go last person. Alvarez, Alvarez, yeah, Alvarez, out of my three, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's he scored the goals that have got him there. He scored the goals that have got him to the final. So, you know, from the third right, remember he wasn't even picked for the first two games. He yeah, came on yeah, as a sub yeah, yeah. in the third game. He came on as a sub he's, he's, in the third game, like and he's had this impact all the way to the final. That's like Toto Scalacci. No, remember Toto Scalacci yeah. from um, 1990 yeah. World Cup. Yeah. That kind of vibes, yeah. Yeah. where they just come from yeah. nowhere. So yeah. Alvarez, man, yeah, definitely worth worth uh, out of the three, I think. Okay, you know what? I I, I would um, 
I, I, I would. So it's you know even even in that midfield you know we have um there's quite a lot of people who did quite well and there's a lot of people who also did did well as forward we had Gapo Gapo didn't do too badly you know uh, scored well, every, in, yeah. in every every his best best Dutchman to score in every match uh for, for qualifying for them you know and we had that young man also from Ghana the Kudus. You know, oh, no, he had some games, yeah. Kudos, he had some games, yeah, and then as well. So, we had I mean, good mention for, for a lot of people like, like, like Kudos. Kudos was, I mean, I thought he, he did really, really well as well. Now, somebody who okay, he played only maybe a couple of matches for Cameron came on as a substitute, but I think he's totally underrated. That Abdullah, that guy for me, he scored that fantastic goal against Brazil. Oh, I mean, uh, the Cameroonian striker. Yes. Cameroonian striker. Yes. Uh, I, th I thought it was really, really good. Really, really good. You know, um, underrated, but yeah, you know, he's one of those guys who really rates himself. He's like uh, Ibrahimovic, isn't he? You know, Ibrahimovic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is it Ombomo that scored one of my favorite goals of the tournament? The chip that we that, all thought that, was outside. That's Abdullah. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that, so that's the guy he's talking about. Abdullah. Yeah, that's Abdullah. Oh, that's, that's one of my that's one of my top three goals of the tournament. Yeah, uh, uh, that's Abdullah, you know. That's yeah. that's the sort of guy he is. He's so so so, yeah, yeah. so good, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so forward. So Messi, you got Messi Mbappe, right? Yeah. Um, so Mbappe left wing, Messi right, right side, Alvarez in the middle. Same. I'll I'll pick I'll pick I'll pick the same because I think, yeah, I'll pick the same. I also too would have gone for the Frenchman. Giroud, but yes, <laughs> Giroud would be the only difference. Giroud, 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 you you burnt me several times. You burnt me several times. I can't afford to put you in the team of the tournament. So for me, left wing Mbappe, central striker Alvarez, right wing Messi. That's strong. I like that. The front. That's 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 mine. So. Okay. Um. So you agree with this, um, uh, Yinka? I, I Messi, certainly. Mbappe, yeah, Alvarez, yeah right? I think that's strong. Um, honorable mentions, um, Crazy Charlie Richarlison. If Brazil had got that little stage okay. further, he'll definitely be in a shot for that. And um, Cody Gakpo of Holland, yeah, Gakpo as well. Yeah, I think has been in there. Like... Harry Kane, Harry Kane. He only needed to score that penalty and get through, and we'll be talking Harry Kane being one of the players of the tournament. Not, yeah, not but he me. didn't. Well, he didn't. So we'll, we'll he leave. didn't. Sorry, he bluffed yeah. it. And. Um, Richie, yes, Richie. I think honorable mention there. So, oh god. So what are we doing? We got. Um, I'm not going to put that, that that other name, that French guy. I'm not going to put his name there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Richie, yeah. Oh, wow. Even though he's got he's got a record scorer for France, you know. But hey, yeah, so be it. We're not going to leave him. We're not going to put him there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, we'll just we'll just put him there for. I'm not, I'm not gonna say his name out loud, you know. I just want to don't want to sort of ruin this channel. <laughs> um, we don't we don't want to lose subscribers, you know. We're trying to gain subscribers, not lose them. <laughs> this is it, you know. This is it. Um, yeah, we're trying to gain uh, what's the word uh, followership, not to uh, lose them, you know. Um, someone, this person started the G, isn't it? Right. While, while you're putting that in, I'm going to say some people that I think have flopped when this World Cup. Like CR7. Like Lukaku. Like Le De Bruyne. You know? There's players that come to this World Cup that we had high hopes and they just didn't turn up. Until one minute, I, I think Son didn't turn up. Son didn't turn up until, and only until about that one kind of I, like piece I, of skill that I, 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 I give, I give, I give, I give, I give human Son a pass because the injury, yes. Well. He played injured. He played injured. Made, that that yes. injury, he he completely if 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 he was younger, I think he wouldn't have gone, because I think he's looking at it. He's thirty years old now. Like, what other chances does he have to go to? A yeah. 
Yeah, very true. That's the only reason. If he, if he was 24, 25, he stays at home. He leaves that world yeah. alone. Yeah, I agree. He had, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he had but, mitigating circumstances. But those other chaps, especially CR7, who I respect a lot. I respect I'm, him Imagine so much. that this guy got dropped from his own national team because they just said that you're a liability. You're a liability. That's, that's a real... That's a real indict, you know. We saw, well, we, saw, we, we, we saw it coming in club football, so it wasn't a surprise. I think Eric Ten Hag is the only person who feels validated at this moment. That look, I dropped this I guy. Think another one, Robert Lewandowski as well. He never turns up for tournaments. It was his first he ever to tournament his goal. He managed to score his World Cup goal, though, so he's happy. Yeah, finally. The Spanish, the Spanish didn't turn up. Yeah, they didn't right, turn up at all, did they? Yeah. So, you know, we've got names on there, but there should be some names that should be on there that just didn't turn up at the end of the day, man. There you go. So, yeah. um, mm, should we then look at our final pairings for this? Because uh, as it is now, it looks like uh, from, from I mean, unanimous about the goalkeeper, right? On the right yes, back, we've got um, Hakimi, Dumfries, and Jovanovic. Who are we going for? I mean, so, you, I mean, we have, it's going to be a vote here. So, um, you go first, uh, Yinka. Akimi. Akimi. Um, Chuma. Akimi. Oh, well, so there you go. Akimi on that one. So, no matter what I say, it's, I'm outvoted, right? So, that's the right back. Uh, right centre back. Um, I, I do like this Thiago Silva, uh, vote. And Romero being one of our own. But my thing with Romero is... He, he, he waited for this World Cup to turn up, and that's just going to stick with me for a little bit, unless he wins it and he wins the Champions yeah. League with Tottenham. Unless he wins the Champions League, if he if he does the same shit for Tottenham that he does for Argentina, I have no problem. But for me, um, for an unknown player that I didn't know about in this World Cup that delivered on the biggest stage and put World Cup performances week in week out, so not week in day in day out, and got the team to the semi final, Saiz. Right, okay, so you go for Saiz. So is that Saiz for you, right? Yinka? Yeah, yeah, what's the Saiz, yes, right? Right, so... Um, uh, Chuma. So I, I, went, I went for Thiago, but I recognise Saiz. So Saiz would have been my... Of these three, it would be Thiago, Saiz and Romero. Romero has done well. I don't think he's done anything extraordinary like he did for Spurs last season, how you saw him really emerge. He's just played okay. I think you can tell he's coming out of injury. He hasn't had that many full-time matches. So Saiz and Thiago Silva, and then, yeah, I'll go with Saiz out of the two. All right, so it looks like Saiz there. So uh, no matter what I say, I thought I would have gone with Romero, but hey, I'm outvoted on that one. So Saiz is looking like... Um... So right centre back is Saiz, uh, good. And then um, left centre back. Um. Oh you my know. God, I didn't know about this kid, man. I didn't know. I put my hands up. He took me by surprise. I said, "Where did this kid come from?" And um, for that, for that fact, similar to Saiz, like those players that just come from nowhere, that have been absolutely world class. Until getting cooked by Messi, Guardiola. Right, so Guardiola, so uh, Chuma. But Guardiola, you know already because he's been my boy. Like right. I hyped him so, on the group. I've okay. hyped him forever. That's, it's him. That deals with that one. Guardiola is the uh, left centre back, and then um, who we got as um, as left back. Hey. I think we all know who that was going to be, but hey, we'll just go through the motions, won't we? Okay. <laughs> now, who have we got here? Tell me. Yeah, Teo. Oh, sorry. Hernandez. I've got uh, AC Milan. Yeah, yeah Hernandez. For, uh, Hernandez for me. So it looks like Hernandez for, for that one. So, uh, Hernandez, Hernandez as well. on that one. The thing is, Danny Blind was playing wing back, similar to um, Dumfries. Yep. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So I, I I can't yeah um, Hernandez 
and you know Hernandez done the decisive moments to get his team to the final. Okay, um, so that's what the back four is looking like: goalkeeper Bono, and then we have across the back four uh, panel, including myself, have come up with Hakimi, uh, Saiz, uh, Guardio, and Hernandez. Yep. Right. Yep. Um, so. Midfield, this is where it gets interesting. Oh, man. Oh, I, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Without a doubt. Oh, man. Oh, then again. No, Chuma, you go first. You go first. <laughs> Chuma, go first, please. So, I, need so I, I need another I, minute. I need another minute. I love, I love, I love. I love the choices. Bellingham, Griezmann, Amrabat. Really? The midfield is where it's at in this, yeah. Yeah, so I would put Amrabat first because he's the anchor. He's behind the other two guys. So I'll put him first. Amrabat as my defensive midfield player shielding that back four. Okay. Then I'll have Modric next to him, possibly playing left centre. Okay. And then Griezmann as right coming into the box. So Griezmann on one side, Modric on the other. Right, okay. Um... Tell me, what would you have, uh, um, Inka? I, I want to put Bellingham in this team because I have just thought he's been brilliant, brilliant, brilliant in this World Cup. And and he's been another find of the tournament as well. I just love those those stories of, you know, you didn't know much about them and then they deliver at the World Cup and they become a world-class player. Modric has become a world-class player because of the World Cup. Griezmann's become a world class player. Amrabat, even in the same story of like in the same ilk as Bellingham, didn't know much about. Although we, you know, we knew about Bellingham, but we didn't know he was that good. So, good. but because I think because I think Griezmann has been the glue guy. He's been the guy that's been consistent. His levels have been in this World mm -hmm. Cup eight out of ten every game. He's been eight out of ten. Same with Amrabat, eight out of ten every game. Um, Bellingham, I can't say he's been an 8 out of 10 every game. There might have been moments where he's might have slipped. Modric has been absolute masterclass. And so, because of that Tottenham link, we all love Modric. Remember, he started this journey at Spurs. Well, um, Dynamo, Zagreb, I think, before. But, you know, that, that, that journey to world class, that jump has happened at Spurs. And, you know, I really appreciate that for the last 10 years or however long he's played for Croatia. We've seen that brilliance on, on at White Hart Lane and on that pitch. I'm going to go with same with Chuma and go Griezmann on the, did he say the left, and Modric on the right or either way, how you want to put it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's difficult to argue against that lineup, honestly, because, um, I, I mean, that, that just, yeah, pretty much chooses itself, you know. So, Bellingham and Musiala will drop out on that one. They're both, they're both, Grew up together, and uh, they all played for um, under 17s at, at youth level for England. So yes, um, so it's a midfield of Griezmann, Amrabat, and Modric. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So uh, where well, I think we're getting up to the um, to the finish line. So what have we got in the front 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 three? Well, I think one 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 two people who. Without a doubt, we would be Messi and Mbappe. So we've got those. Yeah, it, 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 wouldn't, it wouldn't be fair because I think Messi, Mbappe, and Griezmann are the MVP candidates for player of the tournament. Right. So we've got yeah. Mbappe and Agreed. Messi. Right. So, so who else? Who's, who's the last person? We've got to choose between Alvarez, Gakpo, Richarlison, and, and that uh, other guy who plays for France. I can't remember his name. Some starts with a G. We don't. Yeah. Yes. You know what? He's got five goals in this tournament, you know? Five goals. He's, he's going got for four. the golden boot. Is, is it five or four? I think he's got four. 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 Yeah. Oh, oh sorry. He's got four. But he's in line for the yeah, golden boot. Right. Yeah. In, yeah. In theory, yes. Based on what he does in the final. Right. So, who have we got here? Alvarez. Alvarez, Alvarez. How many goals has Alvarez got? He's got three. Alvarez has scored... Three, I think three goals. Yeah, he's got three so two far. In this game, four, no, he's got two in the semi. Yeah, one in he's the one in the one. last. Yeah, one, one, the, last game, the last game, the last game. Yeah, yes. Oh man, and Richarlison has scored the goals of the tournament. He's scored like two of the goals of the tournament. This is it. I'll go for Richarlison. 
Oh, this is hard. Um, but the thing is, uh, they, why did they take off Richarlison? Why did Brazil take off Richarlison against Croatia? Why? Oh, man. It, it, it just blows my you mind you, why you, you took him off. I'll, 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 I'll jump ahead of you guys. I'll go Messi, right wing. Um, Mbappe left. And I think the only reason I've changed my mind from what we said off off air, I'm going Richarlison because Richarlison has the goal of the he has the goal of the of the World Cup and he scored three goals. So he he he's more or less registered. I scored goals at his highest level and I scored the best goal. So I put Richarlison in between them and that's just me. Messi, Richarlison, and Mbappe. That's my right. Goal. The, the I'm, not picking the best goal in between. I'm picking yeah. Messi, Mbappe. I agree with you, Chuma. Messi, Mbappe. We all agreed on that. And for the fact, as you say, yeah. he scored the goal of the tournament. I can't have no Arsenal guy on this, or ex-Chelsea Arsenal guy on this, this list, man. Come on. I don't know whether there is already, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, do you know what? I, I I didn't cheer like the way I cheered for Richarlison's goal in that World Cup, you know. And to be honest, I'm sure you guys will agree with me. You watch Richarlison play in the World Cup as a centre-forward goal poacher, Fox in the Box. And you're like, he's bloody good at that position. He's really good. He fights for the ball. He's the first line of defence. He's skillful. He can finish. He's got that goal poacher's instinct. Um, it's just, you know, the, it just the, the luck of the actual um, penalty shootout never went his way. He couldn't even take a penalty because he'd been taken off the pitch. And that's why I still got that, that you know, that, that thing of Richardson did have a great tournament. It just wasn't in his hands. To finish a great tournament, right? Great. So I'm gonna go with Tuma and say Messi, Mbappe, and Richarlison down the middle. Beautiful, beautiful. Just can we just hold on one second, please? Just hold it, hold that thought. Yes. You get what you were saying. Um, so we have Messi, Mbappe, Richarlison. That's what you guys are going with, right? Yeah, I'm going Richarlison. Yeah. You know. Right, and um, it's difficult to. I mean, it's even difficult to argue against that. So for me. I'll just agree with you guys, and um, even though this guy's got a record for France and all that sort of thing, I'm going to feature on my team. Sorry. Um, right, so... <laughs> <laughs> don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I, I don't blame you, bro. The bias is real. The bias there is you real. go. So, uh, World Cup 11 is looking like this. Woo! Bono and goal. Hakimi. Sa now, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Look, look at this, right? You have four Moroccans in this team. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's unbelievable, isn't it? You got Bono, Hakimi, yeah. Amrabat, and Saiz. And, the, and you know what? There's no argument with all of them. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no argument. You can't tell me that Bono has not been the, one of the better keepers. You can't say that Amrabat has not been the best DCM. Absolutely. Tell me a right back better than Hakimi in this tournament. Yeah, so some people might say that, okay, maybe size yeah. might not be featured on the team, but hey, I mean, for me, it's, it's not even a thing. If you go based on statistics, he is. He, he's married yeah. to this position. It, for goal, me, in the whole headers, team, in the whole team, size is what I'd call the most improved player. For okay. someone that's come from nowhere to be in the best 11, I think he's the most improved player at this tournament. Guys, you have been so amazing. Right, so we've got a good team. We've got a um, complete team for the, for the World Cup. Uh, gosh, this is great. So we've got Bono, we've got Hakimi, we've got Saiz, uh, we have Gaggio, and then uh, Hernandez, right? And in the middle of the park, we've got Amrabat, Griezmann, and Modric. And in the fourth line, we have Mbappe, Messi, and Richie. How many Spurs players in the team? One and one ex first player. One, one ex first player, one right? Player. Okay, fantastic. And Spurs would have been Amrabat. This is it, exactly. If, if, if you got him earlier on, so yes, yeah, not 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 not. Was Spurs picture. going for Amrabat? Was Spurs ever going for Amrabat? Well, we were. In, in the yeah, the, he, so he was who he, he was who we were supposed to buy instead of Benton Cole, but they ended oh. up pulling out when the Benton Cole became available. Oh wow! Oh, that's interesting. Bentico has had a decent and, tournament. And I was pushing for him. Oh, he got injured, so... Bentico, Bentico, if Uruguay had gone further, he would have featured in this. Yeah. Yeah, he would have featured he in this. Was, he was having a blinding tournament. He was having a blinding tournament until he got injured, yeah. Yes. Agreed. 
Yeah. And yeah. shout out to Hugo Bossman Lloris. You know, only one Hugo player Lloris, was better was than the third keeper. Yeah, absolutely. I've got Bono, Novakovic of Croatia, and then Lloris. Three best keepers so far. Yeah. So it's been all, all in all a good one. So thank you guys. Um, so there, there is your World Cup team. Um, come on, you Spurs. Thank you guys. Thank you. See you next time. All right, let's see your guys one. Let's put your guys ones in the comments as well, please, man. I want to hear what you guys have got to say okay, about yeah, this team. Of course, let's hear, let's hear the comments and see what, what, what you guys probably. think, right? Okay. And thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much, guys. It's been wonderful having you guys. And uh, thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. Um, a, a, uh, what, what, nice what, what, what meeting you. Say that again. I'll say that salute you guys. Salute as well. Absolutely. You guys take good care. And we'll see each other on the other side. Take care. Take Bye. care. Come on, you Spurs. Bye. Bye. Bye.